the manager rang me here in Barbados and he said, I'm going to throw a curved ball at you. Morrissey wants you in New York with him. You've got an hour. And I said, okay, my answer is definitely yes, but can you check that it's not a joke? Is there an ulterior motive? Anyway, he got hold of Morrissey's management and they said, no, Morrissey's a fan and he'd like you to be there. So I said, yes, please. I mean, the chances of singing to 15,000 people in New York are pretty well nil for me at the moment anyway. How aware have you been of his music over the years? I knew of him even when, uh, when he was the lead singer of the, of the, J, the what is it, Jane no, Smith. And um, I can't say that I've followed his musical career, but I've followed his success. What songs do you like? I don't know. I couldn't tell the title. But I know he's very political with his lyrics and stuff, which is fine by me. I suppose I must have made some, a couple of statements in my time, but I tend to be much more of the middle-of-the-road style of singer, so... Uh, I'm going to enjoy it, that's for certain. I'm assuming now, the more I listen to him now, I'll, I'll be able to answer questions like, what ones do you like? Because I don't know, I don't even, I wouldn't even know what title of an album to ask for at the moment. <laughs> I just know his name. It was very easy to spell. Um, and I found out his name is Patrick, but I'm not quite sure whether he likes to be called Morrissey or Mr. Morrissey or Pat. You should definitely check out The Queen is Dead. That's a good starting place, I think. Oh, I can't remember that title. You mentioned politics. He is no fan of the royal family, whereas you played the Queen's Jubilee concert. I imagine oh, yeah. you could have some interesting conversations with him. Yeah, we could. I have interesting conversations with most of my friends. I've got a, a, a circle of friends, and sometimes I find we're poles apart politically. That's life. So to me, it doesn't surprise me that he has a, a different viewpoint of monarchy than I do. But... Yeah, if we get a chance to talk, I believe everyone should say and feel their philosophy is as v valuable as anybody else's, even if you would disagree with it. He also has very strict vegetarian rules surrounding his gigs. Will yeah. you be going vegetarian for the day? Certainly not. No, of course not. He, I, I'd like to think he might eat some meat when I arrive, but I wouldn't expect him to. So I don't think he'll expect me to be vegetarian. But I, if, it, if it offends him, if I, if I found that he was offended by people eating meat, then I won't eat it in front of him. But I'll have a chicken curry afterwards. You've had 14 number one singles. Morrissey's not had any. Do you not feel it should be the other way around, that he should be supporting you? No, not at all. People don't know me in America. I mean, that's why I had no problem saying yes. I mean, if Morrissey asked me to support him in England, I would question it greatly. I'd say, well, no, you can have the first half, and I'll have the second half. But, you know, this is a different world out there. Morrissey's done something I, I've never done. I've never had a huge following. I've had nine top 30 hit singles, but I have no identification out there. All I can say is thank you, Patrick, or Morrissey. I don't know. I, I'm not quite sure how to refer to him. Um, but I, I just, I just, I'm so grateful that he's even thought about having me on the show. I'd, I'd, I'd love to play to 15,000 people in the States, and now I will. Did he really explain why he picked you? No, I've only heard that he likes me, and that's it. If it, the words were, he's a fan of yours. And so I said, okay, that's, that's enough for me to hear. He doesn't have to be a, a stalker. If he's a fan, that's fine by me. I think it's a great honor for me to be asked by someone like him because no one would expect him to ask me.